All right, update on the territory. Uh, this has turned into territory from hell. What we had initially, we leaned towards a PCM. Um, that was uh, kind of correct. I assumed, I made an assumption, you know what everyone says about assumptions, that one of the terminating resistors for this uh, CAN communication network would be in the PCM because this goes from the climate control unit there down to the ABS, the PCM. Um, at this stage, I can't find any data and I don't believe there is a terminating resistor in that PCM. What I've done is I've actually added 120 ohms resistance across that CAN, uh, what is it, CAN low circuit. Um, the vehicle starts completely fine. PCM and everything communicates fine. Uh, what I think we've got is I actually think we've got a, a terminating resistor in this climate control unit. So this climate control unit here under the dash, left hand front of the dash, um, I believe that's where our other 120 ohm terminating resistor is. I reckon we've got one in the instrument cluster. We do have one in the instrument cluster because if I unplug that with the multimeter across our um, breakout box, we lose that other 120 ohm resistor. Um, and I think that this climate control unit here is where our other one is. It lives right up the right hand side of the heater matrix. So at the minute we've, um, I've put a, like I said, just a breakout box across that to make sure the vehicle starts and everything. Um, everything functions, lights, windows, fault report, basically, oh, I just cleared everything. Um, that'll all come back. Fault report basically shows a module failure for that HIM unit and a few other faults here. So. I'll pull this report up. Um, as you can see we've got receiver error in the PCM for the uh, CAN network, CAN network receiver error in the instrument cluster which is normal, um, this auto lamp sensor fault as well and then in the HIM we've got a module configuration fault and then the receiver error fault. So now I'm leaning towards a HIM issue. Um, the vehicle started and runs, which is fantastic. So we're gonna go from there, we'll see what the customer wants to do, but at least we can get this thing started. Thanks for watching. All right, here's our final repair of the territory from hell. And our resistance across our can lines is back to perfect. So we'll hook the battery up, make sure it starts. And this is another one that's fixed and good to go.